Very important to get this campaign off to a promising start. Of course, coaches John Wilson for Bass and Tim White, they both know that. Here we go. Peter Mulholland Cup action underway. Bit of a miscommunication to kick things off. As mentioned, Holy Cross with first possession here. Kalani Marciu, Max Elias, Jaden Jenkins is the big three up front. There's Marciu, as you can see. John Paul Cortell, the captain. One of the edge forwards with Abraham Dada. Will Fitzpatrick is the 13. He plays it right there. Here's Marciu getting busy early as they try to work their way up to midfield. Holy Cross, a receive there for Gobrin and turning it inside for Cortell. So a nice first set there for Holy Cross. A good little kick too, finding some grass up the middle of the ground from Angus Gobrin. Returned by Ali Kanib. And here's our first look at Bass with the ball as they work their way back towards halfway. There's Fuad Turkmani. You ask people from both teams and they'll tell you Bass are the side more likely as Fanifo Seve takes his first carry of the afternoon. A really, really promising front rower involved with the Bulldogs. Played, playing some fleg this year even as Bass work it down this right-hand edge. A big first set for them. That was the last though. So Holy Cross hold on there. Quite a bit of promise with the ball in hand. In the early goings by Bass Height. So here come Holy Cross working it out from their own end. Nearly got themselves back to halfway with their first possession as Max Elias has a dig out of dummy half. A distant relation to the great Benny Elias. Max Elias, the hooker, he shares a grandfather with Mitch Moses. As that bloodline continues at Holy Cross, of course, Mitch Moses, one of their more famed current NRL alumni, along with Luke Brooks, Alex Saifeth, Esan Masters. There's quite a number of them. Junior Totola, Bailey Sirinan. And a good set there from Holy Cross as well. So both teams holding on to it early. No errors in this one. And Bass have to start this set from pretty deep in their own territory as well. Hooking for Bass today, Jack Brander, who's done all this before. Plenty of experience at nine. City Veni, Taolunga and Fanifo Sevet. They're the big boppers up front for Bass. Jerome Goddard, the other middle forward. And then it's Tula Seve and Simi Laifi. The edge forwards as well. Good kick downfield just over the top of JK Raunge. And he has to retrieve deep into his own territory. He pushed away from Tupo, who did chase. And here we go, Bass getting on top now. Two tackles still inside their own 10, Holy Cross. Big defensive set here. That was the third tackle. Elias. Out of dummy half. How about the contact there? Itula Seve, great defence. A huge set, driven back once again. And referee Matt Galvin calls fifth. So Bass are going to start this set in opposition territory. Our first genuine opportunity for points in this game coming here. Ali Kanib with a strong return. As Bass work their way down towards that Holy Cross red zone. Nice quick play the ball as they work it around the corner. Out 
And once again, out of acting half, going fairly close as Jack Brander inside the 10 now, Bass. And a quick play the ball from Brander. Good vision shown. They've got the overlap. Great defence. 11 on 11. John Paul Cortell had to make that tackle as they work it left. It's rolled in behind. And it's going to be played dead. Getting back there was Ratu. Viliami Ratu. Kori Tamana. Well done from the right centre there. Promising signs here for Bass in the early stages, though. Elijah Tuifua, 16-year-old half, forcing a repeat set. They allow that one to bounce. It's fine, though. Kori Tamana, a good tackle right there on Tula Sevet. Brother of Fanifo Sevet, the number 10. A switch play back to Sevet. And he pushes it on to Solomon Tupo, who is a former Holy Cross student himself. Very close to the line now, Jerome Goddard. Norse Harold Matt's rep. Out of dummy half. Looks like Brandon might have forced his way in. No. Matt Galvin says held up. Really promising defence shown here by Holy Cross. Already under some pretty heated pressure. Now they work it through hands. This is massive trouble on the right, but once again, Holy Cross just doing enough. Bass will get a full set at them still. Saving the day there by the looks of things. Sam Mardini, the left wing of this right side. The seven minutes gone in this first half at Cabramatta Leagues. Bass with a full set at them. Elijah Tuifua goes out the back to Carnivan. Inside it goes for Tupo. Former Holy Cross centre. Out wide. Ali Knibs put it down. So Holy Cross. Incredible defence on their own line. Bass still just trying to feel their best way through. Sorting out some cohesion, which you can expect. It is the opening round of the 2023 Peter Mulholland Cup. Of course, a schoolboy cup competition honouring one of the, honouring the legacy of one of rugby league's great manager and talent scouts and now it's Holy Cross ride working it out from their own end been under immense pressure in this opening 10 minutes going further left and using the ball running services of Sam Mardini who did it defensively not all that long ago getting a hand in to intervene just getting into a rhythm now this game, good carry there from Marciu. Now an early kick as well from Christian Azzi. They do have a left boot, right boot combination, Holy Cross in the halves. Bass once again though, starting this set in really good field position. So much size in this Bass forward pack as well for Holy Cross to deal with. Fanifo Sever played it right there. Through the hands they go. And a bit of an overlap, but yet again an error to end that attacking raid. So Holy Cross coach Tim White, he'd have to be happy with what he's seen. The character shown so far against this Bass side that is expected to get the job done today. So 
So Holy Cross, their own scrum, 30 metres out from their own line. Kanan received it. Injecting himself in the line to do some ball playing. Now is it acting half? Caden Kanan, his brother, was part of Holy Cross's campaign last year. The fullback for Holy Cross, just trying to force his way into the Tigers. Howard Matt set up a dummy there from Azzy. Christian Azzy, he'll be doing goal kicking duties if Holy Cross are good enough to force their way over that bass trial line this afternoon. Big run from Marciu there. Now we'll bring an end to this set. Another decent kick there from Angus Gobran. And Bass will start this set of six just outside their own 30. Almost back to halfway now. Just continuing to work it down this right edge with some effect as well. The ball came loose and this time Matt Galvin rules that it was ripped out. So there's our first penalty of the afternoon as well. Off the back of a really good run from Goddard. And Holy Cross are going to have to do some more red zone defence here. Back inside Sitaveni Taolunga. One of the front rowers in this team. Now he's up through the middle. Simi Leifi. He opens the scoring here this afternoon at Cabramatta Leagues. One of the edge forwards. Big Simi on it. Leifi. He's a New South Wales CHS representative. So much size there. And just some handy footwork at the line too to force his way over. 4-0 Bass kick to come. So Holy Cross, they've done so much excellent defensive work deep inside their own half. But it was all too much to handle in the end. And Bass, they finally get themselves on the scoreboard after a couple of errors inside that opposition 20 So it's 4-0, kick to come. Close to 13 minutes gone here in Cabramatta. And it's Hassan Rabah to do the kicking. They call him Huss. Decent strike. Flags go up. Six points to nil. As the 5'8 converts. Simi Leifi's try. So let's see how Holy Cross respond here. There is a bit of wind right to left and across the pitch here at Cabramatta Leagues as well. So Bass have certainly been, been able to take advantage of that. It's Caden Kanan with kickoff duties. For Holy Cross ride. And he goes deep. Big run straight up the guts from Sitiveni Talangi. Linking up. Very well as well. All of a sudden, Holy Cross are back on their own 20 defending. And Bass have a chance to go bang, bang, Rabah. Went for the offload. Ball falls loose. Hassan Rabah had a bit of an opening there off the back of an enormous carry from City Veni Taolunga. Off the back fence. My word. Yeah, a number of 
Bulldogs held Matt's reps in this Bass high lineup who tasted grand final success only a few weeks ago. Looking to continue that here today as Caden Kanan takes a carry. He'll play it on his own 10. There's Mardini. Good carry from him now. Will Stone gets his hands on the ball for maybe the first time this afternoon. Very lean centre. The rotations are happening now as well. There's Taj Malay. Marciu hit by a couple. Just inside their own half. And once again, Gobran receives it on the last. Kicking downfield, giving this one plenty of height as well. Ali Kani brings it back, beat the first. Just outside his own 30. Bass have just been incredibly hard to handle. Almost back to halfway now, mid-set. That's Solomon Air Tupo. They call him Solo. Short side, a little bit of an overlap here, and they're going to take full advantage. Bass screaming down the left wing. It was Turkmani, and he went inside to Sever. So Bass extends their lead in this first half over Holy Cross. Excellent work down the short side. It didn't look like there was enough room, but my word, Fui Turkmani showed so much pace. And Tula Sevet was on the end of it, backing up inside. Great support from the edge forward. One of those Bulldogs, Harold Matt's representatives, Atula Sevet, the number 11 for Bass, a city country under 16 representative as well, was also part of the New South Wales CHS side. And just continuing to mount his case as he works his way through the teenage years. So Hassan Rabah, 16 year old half has a chance here to extend Bass's first half lead 12 minutes left in this first half decent strike but he misses to the left 10 nil the score stays Bass over Holy Cross Viliami Ratu Koro Tamana just getting a little bit of treatment in backfield there, the right centre for Holy Cross, something to keep an eye on. So Kanan kicks off, sends a wobbler down towards Bass. Tupo brings it back once again, left centre. For this bass high side. Ali Karnib with a carry there, the fullback involved with West's Harold Matt set up and New South Wales CHS as well. Coming to Bass from West Fields, the fullback. As Bass they're just dominating this battle through the middle and field position. No doubt about that. Another strong carry from Talunga. He gave it up this time, though, and Holy Cross, they'll start this set from just inside their own half. Six to go as well. There's Taj Mele again. Into opposition territory. Haven't played the ball too many times from this half of the field. And they work their way all the way to the left. But Azzy with a 
tip on ball for Jenkins. One of the Holy Cross players involved in their campaign last year. Canaan out the back. Got it on for Koro Tamana, but it's been ruled forward. Tamana was hit pretty well there as he received the pass out the back and got it on. Still just building cohesion, of course, as we sort of spoke about. Round one, central pool one action. The Peter Mulholland Cup here at Cabramatta Leagues. So Bass off the scrum, immediately making meterage up the middle. Hassan Rabah with a good carry. Into that Holy Cross. Half of the field again is Fanifo Sevet. Good quick play the ball from the Bulldogs. Harold Matson, an early kick. Good vision shown. Kanan is back there, slipping on his own line. He's done very well to stay in the field of play. Raunge. Big JK. Nearly dragged back in, into his own in goal. A decent dart. And some high contact. It was Mardini with the carry out of his own end and just caught one across the chops. Not too much malice involved, but it is worthy of a penalty. Ruled by Matt Galvin. So Christian, as he finds touch on his own 30. Touch judges today, Raymond... Duang and Jacob Dean, by the way, as Koro Tamana takes a tough carry off the tap. There's the tip on for John Paul Cortell, the captain. Was involved with the Tigers, Harold Matz, recently. Here's Marciu once again. Have to think Tim White, the coach, is... Expecting big minutes from that Holy Cross number eight. Now an early kick from Azzy, and it's a pretty good one too. Rolls it in behind. And he finds touch inside that Bass 10 metre. Seven minutes before the break. Matt Galvin's just blown time off momentarily here. Looks like it's... Ali Kanib, 16-year-old fullback for Bass, just doing some stretching. Mentioned once already, but Bass enjoying a bit of a breeze behind them today. Running kind of diagonally across the field but from right to left on screen and it will be about a bass possession here still just waiting there are some running repairs to Martini out on the left edge the left winger for Holy Cross Matt Galvin, the ref, just taking no chances here. Perhaps a head injury assessment. In fact, maybe Mardini, that, he cops that high shot down the other end of the park a couple of minutes ago, as we mentioned. Might have just copped one across the, the schnoz. So seven minutes until halftime. Ten nil. Bass over Holy Cross. Bass certainly one of the favoured sides in this central pool one. 
Bass are going to have St. Dom's College in rounds two of the Peter Mile Hollands Cup. That match in early June. Slated for June 7 at this stage. And then round three, they've got St. Greg's College as well a week later. Holy Cross up next, they've got St. Greg's. Also slated for June 7 before they take on St. Dominic's. So Bass with possession, just trying to work it out from their own end. And working at short side once again, Turk Marnie just overrun that pass a little bit, but Holy Cross looks like it was Gobran that jumped on possession. He was taken into touch, no advantage. Angus Dobrin, uh, Gobran, the number seven in this Holy Cross side. He'll feed it. It's Azzy at first receiver. He'll turn it inside for Will Stone. Elias, oh, heavy carry there from Michael Pappas. Did well, though. Absorbed the initial contact. Elias once again out to Azzy. That's Abraham Dada playing it. So there's Pappas once again working it towards the posts. Holy Cross have not been this deep inside Bass territory with the ball yet. Gobran tries to roll in behind. And Ali Karnib was back there. He'll play it just in front of his own try line. That's better from Holy Cross, though. Important defensive set coming up right here. Particularly given that Bass have that wind behind them. It certainly has helped them in this territory battle in the early stages. The Turk Marnie's lost it. An important defensive set results exactly the way they needed it to. And there's still time to hit back and reduce this margin to a one-score game. Four and a half minutes before Oranges. The Gobran played it for Azzy. And they move it on. Stone once again. Elias. He goes to Azzy. Inside for Pappas. Azzy once again at first receiver. He dummied that time. Sevet was there. Gobran. Just a bit of a mix up there. Involving his captain, John Paul Cortell. It's been ruled to have been knocked on. A bit of disappointment to the end of that set. Elijah Tuifua, 16-year-old half. He'll feed it here for Bass. And they'll move it out of their own end. Good carry and the offload as well. They're away down this right-hand edge, Bass. And they've got numbers in support as well. Ali Karnib, he's going to go all the way. The fullback for Bass. Supporting down that right and from a scrum inside their own 10. Bass high, score under the posts. A dagger in this first half, right towards the break. Just two and a half minutes left before half time, and Bass extend. 14 0 kick to come.
So many impressive ball carriers in this Bass lineup. And the West's Harold Matz representative fullback Ali Karnib was on the end of it in support. So Rabar, he's two from two, uh, sorry, one from two, doing kicking duties. Nothing challenging about this attempt from in front. So inside the final two minutes of this first half, and Rabar converts. 16 plays nil, Bass over Holy Cross. And just minutes ago, Holy Cross had possession deep inside Bass territory as well. That's got to hurt. Kanan kicks off. The Rabar was underneath it. Didn't have any options, had to take the tackle. As Bass work it out of their own ends. Closing in on halfway. They spent so much time in Holy Cross territory. Attempting the little tip on there was Goddard, and it's been turned over. They've been willing to be expansive, there's no doubt about that. Bass Cortell was hit as he spun. Elias goes to Jaden Jenkins. As he now. Good ball down this left edge. There's a bit of room as well to work into. Mardini, he kicks over the top. Who's doing chase here? Kicks dead by Kanye, but a great end to the first half from Holy Cross. Unfortunately, they've just run out of time. And that is the end of this first period here at Cabramatta Legs. It's Bass High, 16 points to nil over Holy Cross ride and that bass front row has been immense today here we go to kick things off in this second half as well a massive carry there from Simi Laafi who did score the opening try here today the edge forward a hard running edge forward as Goddard playing the ball doing some tough stuff all ready back to halfway they go Apolosi Laafi with a carry, making a huge impact off the bench. Now he's playing dummy half as well. Goddard back inside for Laifi. How about this set? Fifth and last now, and they've gone basically the length. Kicking in behind, just putting it dead was the 5'8". Rabar. So Holy Cross. You'd have to think that... Just a fraction shell shot. After that set, Bass is sort of working their way into a breeze in this second half as well. Rauge with a carry. JK Rauge, the right winger. His second Peter Mulholland Cup campaign. One of about several players in this Holy Cross lineup that were a part of last year. But it is a young side, admittedly, as they work their way down the right. There's Rauge as well. He's a big boy as well, J.K. Rauge. Bit of room as well now for Koro Tamada. Rauge's right edge partner, both of Fijian Heritage. And this is a very handy set for Holy Cross. Jaden Jenkins, he'll play it on Bass's 10. Just in front, in fact. 
Sweeping it to the left. Azzy out the back for Kanan. Now is Stone. Bumps off from one. And the space down the left closes. Sam Mardini works his way back in field. Got the offload away, though. Still with it. Now it's Elias. And Simi Leifi stripped it. He's having a big game. The number 12 for Bass. He goes Hori Fua. And now the other winger with a carry, Nelson Lau. Back to the other centre. Solomone Tupu there. Now Carnib bumping away from tacklers and over halfway that goes the fullback. West Harold Matz player. Bit of a juggle there from Tui Fua. Got it clean down to Kanan at the back with some handy footwork on kick return duties. So now it's Holy Cross bringing it out from their own end. There's Sam Mardini. He has been busy today. The left winger for Holy Cross has that tape across his face after copping one across the chops. Mustafa Horcha is on the field. He's the Replacement dummy half for Bass made a low tackle just before that. Elias had a dummy half. Just trying to catch the markers napping in the middle of the field here at Cabramatta Leagues. Angus Gobrin got it out the back down the throat of Carnip who brings it back with some authority. And up the middle, a good 22 metres there on the kick return. And there's Fui Turkmani, the left winger, coming in field for some work. Up to halfway, here's Jerome Goddard, the captain. North Harold Matz, player. Oh, Nelson Lowell, a huge carry from him. It's just destructive ball runners everywhere. And speaking of... Simi Leifi going for his second, just pulled to ground. Fifth and last here inside that Holy Cross 10. They work it through hands. In fact, it's kicked in through, and that's superb. Solo Tupo on the end of it from the kick of Elijah Tuifua. Excellent work, and Bass extend their lead. 20 points to nil, kick to come. Solo Tupo, the Bulldogs Harold Matz representative and the ex-Holy Cross player as well, scores against his former school. He'll be happy with that. Probably came here today looking for a shot or two, but I suppose a, a try will do. <laughs> Still plenty of time to make more of an impact in this game as well. Just the five and a half minutes gone in this second half. And Bass are doing it pretty comfortably. Good last tackle option that was from Elijah Tuifua. The 16 year old halfback. And Hassan Rabah has kicking duties. For Bass, kicks two out of three in that first half. Strikes him pretty well off the boot, off the tee, I should say. And he sends that one through the posts. 22 plays nil. Bass over Holy Cross. Maybe a chance for Bass coach John Wilson to have a closer inspection at the bench in this second half. Looks like it's gonna be Christian Azzi taking over kickoff duties. And 
but not the deepest. And it just landed in between a few of the Bass players and now it's with Tyler Slate. One of the other Bulldogs, Harold Matt's representatives. Here goes Leafi again. Massive game for Simi Leafi. His Sever. Fanafo Sever over halfway. Down the right. Rabar. Still a couple more tackles up their sleeve here, Bass. Good dart out of dummy half from Porcher. Here's the fifth and last. And they work it through hands once again. Tui Fua out the back. Two on one. And in the corner, it's Turkmani. Sublime passing. Through hands they went. Tui Fua, he got it out to Tupo. And Fuad Turkmani scores the try. 26 nil, kick to come. And Bass are having themselves a day here at Cabramatta Leagues. It's been virtually a perfect start to the second half. Whatever Coach John Wilson said at the break has worked wonders. Not that they were up against it, but my goodness. Sending a statement here to the rest of the... Peter Mulholland Cup schools out there. And there's no doubt Hassan Rabar is getting plenty of goal kicking practice as well here today. Fuad Turkmani, the left winger, he's done some great things in this game. Not the biggest player in this team by any stretch. So much pace, though, as Rabar adds two more. So 28 points to nil. He's four from five off the tee as well. Having himself an afternoon to remember. Been a character building afternoon for this young Holy Cross team. 20 minutes left. Let's see what they can come up with. They might learn a bit about each other here as Uzi restarts. Lau brings it back with a head of steam as well. Elias, well defended down low. Is Laifi again? Simeonet Laifi. Plays it just outside his own 40. Now here's Fanifo Sever once again. It's been those do, two doing a lot of the destruction through the middle. There's Carnib. How many times have these bass sets of six ended up in opposition territory? Today as we see Tula Sever play it now. So Tui Fua puts it on the boot. Kanan's underneath it. And he just has to crumble. Massive kick chase coming through. Mardini, he ran behind his own teammate. So he surrenders. Now here's the third tackle. Marcio with a handy offload. Holy Cross. Third, three tackles gone. They'll play it on their own 20 there. Working it through hands. They do have a bit of a an overlap if they're good enough to get it out wide. They do. JK Rohnger, he didn't have any space to work into though. And now Elias with a carry. The little hooker does pretty well as, as well. Nearly out, out muscled the Tula Sever. Fifth and last here. As he got a high pass, his kick's been smothered as well but here comes will stone on the burst still fifth and last he's told to hold it six to go huge chance here for holy cross elias up the guts 
Layafi tried to rip it out. Plays it 15 metres out from the bass line. Azzy with a good cutout ball. That defence was rock solid on Abraham Dada. And Bass, they just have not put a foot wrong in this second half so far. A great opportunity for Holy Cross. Comes to a disappointing end. Scoreless in this game. Easily one of their best chances to post points. Where's your boots, mate? Run on. Run some water, mate. So it hasn't just been an impressive display. Ball in hand from Bass. Short side, bit of room. Low is away. Cover defence was good from Stone. There's too much going on in that play the ball though. Will Fitzpatrick was penalised. And Bass are going to start yet another set inside that Holy Cross half. It was 16-0 at half time. They've already scored two four-pointers in this second period as well. As we near the three-quarter mark in this game. Fua taps it. One of the Bulldogs held Matt's representatives. And he's through. That was an incredible left footstep to the house. Hori Fua out of nothing. Incredibly impressive from that bass centre. My word, 32 nil kick to come. So Hori Fua just does it all on his own right there. The Bulldogs, Harold Matt's rep. And Bass extends that lead. Sending a massive statement to the rest of the central pool one in this Peter Mulholland Cup. An enormous start to their 2023 campaign as Rubber adds the extra two. He's only missed one for the day, so he's five from six off the tee. Just so many bruising ball runners in this Bulls lineup. And Azzy, he's been getting some kick practice, unfortunately, for them. So Lau brings it back. He's had a good second half, the right winger. Here's Fanafo Seve once again. Max Elias has no fear. Smallest player out there on basically the biggest body. Done plenty of defensive work up the middle. As Bass, they're back to halfway. Once again, here's Taolunga bumping off tackles. Sitaveni Taolunga, good run from him. They work it left. Tuifua got it on for Tula Sevet. Fifth and last now. Short side they go. In behind and an opportunity to score even more points. It looks like they have exceptional kick chase through there from Ali Karnib. He scores his second. And it was good vision from Mustafa Horcha, the replacement dummy half, who put the little kick through and just caught the back three of Holy Cross slightly out of position. And Bass will and truly smell blood here at Cabramatta. So it's certainly been an afternoon to remember for Ali Karnib, the Bass fullback, West's Harold Matt's rep, coming across 
to Bass High from Westfields. Also involved in the New South Wales CHS fold. And he's going to be very important to their, to Bass's 2023 Peter Mulholland Cup campaign. So Hassan Rabah, five from six converting tries in this game. This is his toughest task yet. Decent strike though. And there's another one. He's six from seven now. It's been a complete performance. So 40 points to nil, just under 12 minutes left here at Cabramatta Leagues. Kanan, he's going to go the short one this time. Tupo was there. Solo, Tupo. Both of these bass centres involved with the Bulldogs, Harold Matt's recent grand final victory, as is... That man, the number 11, Atuli Sevet, who just played that last ball. As is Fanifo Sevet, who just had that carry up the middle. His Horcha, he's been impressive off the bench. Just didn't quite play it where he was entitled to. So inside for Taolunga. Add a few more tackle breaks to his name. And an offload for Sever. Right up the middle. It's Fanifo Sever. And Bass just keep on keeping on in this second half. It's 44-0 kick to come. Ten and a half minutes left. And it's just been pure destruction in this second half. They've added 28 points to their halftime total. And Hassan Rabah, he's going to add two more to his personal haul as well. Six from seven off the tee, as we've been mentioning. So Hassan Rabat, 16-year-old half. 14 points for the afternoon. So far, there's still nine and a half minutes left. Certainly most people at the ground here expected Bass to win this game, but my goodness, 46-0. An enormous statement. They're trying the short kickoffs here. Mucha was there though. Horcha, sorry, Mustafa Horcha. And now he's away. Mustafa Horcha showing a bit of pace as well. Kanan finally in cover got there. But they'll start this set from about 20 out, if you can believe that. So here's Sevet. That's Tula Sevet. Up the middle. There's Tui Fua. Got it on for Rabar. Now out for Karnib. And here's a hat trick. Mark him down for a third. Ali Karnib, 16-year-old fullback, just doing it too easy. And make it 50. Yeah. 
So impressive, Bass High. 50 points to nil. Kick to come. And there's still time as well. Seven and a half minutes left. So the West's Harold Matz representative, Ali Karnib, has three tries in this game. Hassan Rabah, he has seven from eight conversions. This is a tough one with the wind playing havoc across the posts. And yeah, it didn't help his case there. So his personal tally will remain at 14 points for the time being the number six for Bass and Holy Cross they've been doing far too much kickoff practice unfortunately so this time they'll try a short kickoff on the other side of the field and this one's a better result. In fact, no. Penalty. Taken in the air was Hori Fua who went up. And Hassan Rabah will kick the touch. And they'll start this set from inside Holy Cross Territory. 16 is Jerome Rogers. There's one of the other interchange forwards, Tyler Slate. The Bulldogs held Matt's forward. Rabar through hands, Tui Fua. Cuts out three of them. He's been dangerous as well, Turk Marnie. Got it on for Karnib. Can he pick up a fourth try? Brand is back out there, the starting hooker. Going short side. Just running out of room there was Simeone Leifi. And short side, they're in again. Catching them, napping. Pure domination and destruction. Here today, that must have been Jack Brander on the end of that one. There was a run up the middle that Helped set up one of the early tries in that first half. Mustafa Horcha, the replacement hooker, has, has done plenty of work through the middle stages of the game. And now Branda puts his stamp on the end of it as well. 54-0 kick to come. Hassan Rabah, he actually converted one from out near here not all that long ago. Working into the wind, though. He's drops that one short. He's seven from ten off the tee. Hassan Rabat. Ten tries unanswered. We're inside the final five minutes now. They've tried the short kickoff a few times in a row. This time, very deep. In fact, over the, the top. My goodness. Rabar has to clean up. It went over the top of Leifi. Good D. Nearly forcing him back into their own in goal, Bass. They haven't started too many sets from this deep inside their own end. As Simeone Leifi... Pumps off a couple of tackles. Here's Goddard. The captain must be impressed with his side's efforts today, Jerome Goddard. The North Sydney Harold Matts representative. Go the Bears. 
another offload. Carnib was able to get it on as well. As they keep finding room up the middle, Slate is away. In the end, there was good cover. Slate struggled to get a pass on. He's pulled down eventually. Huge run from Tyler Slate. Rabar, as they move it left, Tui Fua out wide. Trouble, another overlap. Bass are in again. Solomone Tupo. He scores. And he makes it 58 points to nil with just a couple of minutes left. Kick to come. There's their 11th try of the match. One of the players involved in the Bulldogs' recent Harold Matt's grand final win a few weeks ago, Solo Tupo, 16-year-old. And that's his second try in this game as well. The former Holy Cross student, Rabar. He puts this one through, so there's his eighth conversion. A 16-point haul for the 5'8". Bass have 60. Still got time for one more set. <laughs> the Bass boys want one more try. As he goes deep, very deep. I've had a bit of trouble the last couple of kickoffs going deep there, and that's dead in goal. So it'll be a line dropout to finish this game. Can Holy Cross get their names on the score sheet here? Can they open their accounts? At the very least, some dropout practice for Bass. Something they haven't had to do any of today. So here they go. 20 odd seconds, one or two more tackles. Elias receives a play the ball. Up the middle goes Jaden Jenkins. So time for one more play in this game. What has Holy Cross got up at sleeve? It looks like they want it left. As he'll get it at first receiver. Puts a little kick in behind. Ah, oh, Martini. He didn't get the bounce. Young Sam, unfortunately, and that will do us here at Cabramatta Leagues. Tough old afternoon for Holy Cross, but my word, Bass High. They are here to play in the 2023 Peter Mulholland Cup. There's no doubt about that. Look out the rest of the Central Pool 1. Look out St. Dominic's. Look out St. Greg's. Bass High are coming. 60 points to nil in the end.